I'm a love machine that's got some gears of contempt. Sometimes I'm soft-spoken on the outside and screaming on the inside. Other times I'm tranquil on the inside and cause a ruckus with my words anyway. I'm a human being, baby, and I'm a beautiful, terrifying work of art. Just like you. Being human is like a porno filmed in a church by Amish computer engineers. All of the ideas and beliefs in the world were once a porcelain vase which was dropped from heaven to earth, shattering into countless fragments. Ever since then, humankind has been finding the pieces and continues to locate new ones. Problematically, people have not yet realized that these individual shards once formed a sacred unified object. The finder of each unique fragment tightly embraces it as their own treasure and will defend it at any cost, violently and irrationally, taking no pause to consider that each isolated idea and belief would be completed if combined with the rest. When Osama bin Laden was murdered and many Americans rejoiced, feeling secure and content with the demise of a prominent antagonist, my response at the time was more along the lines of, ho oh, hum, looks like we're still doing the same old dance. Gandhi brought it home better than I can though, when he said, with an eye for an eye, the whole world goes blind. And then there's the George Carlin version, bombing for peace is like fucking for virginity. That Jesus guy had a good one too. Love thine enemies. What if the eyes of others are not just windows into their souls, but also like mirrors that reflect back your own core, your own observer? What if deep within everyone you'll ever meet is you? It's the art of being human. It's the art of being human. It's the art of being human. After all, with great foreskin, comes great responsibility.